Well, it's it's a wrap on the Davos coverage. Uh, you will see, of course, some conversations during the course of the next two days as well. But day three, or the final day for us, rather day four, um, has been about what global CEOs are talking about India in the relative context. So, com global CEOs of Honeywell, of uh, Johnson Controls. I met. Uh, a company over lunch. We spoke to IKEA day before yesterday, and everybody is talking about how they are looking forward to increase investing in India, in whichever small fashion that they do, and also try to see if India can become a larger hub for making in India for the world. If the draw was China plus one about six months ago, now it seems to be China for China, and India for India and rest of the world. And I think we've heard numerous people talk about it. Tata Steel CEO said that he's heard the same thing when he's had conversations with people as well. So it doesn't seem to be empty chatter. And it does seem that this promenade in Davos, which is the most prominent lane, and is punctuated by Indian companies and Indian states and the India lounge is actually for real. And it's a great feeling being an Indian journalist reporting this. Thank you so much for this year. This is the updates that we have on a daily basis from the WEF at Davos. Thanks for tuning in to BQ Prime for all the last few days.